Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. One of the questions which I routinely get is that is it possible to run stable diffusion models, especially the STXL ones, on Google Colab on free GPU? Courtesy to this Cagliostro Forge Colab, yes, that is possible now. Though the option of models are limited understandably because of the GPU constraints, but still, if your purpose is to just create images from text easily for free just in Google Colab on free T4 GPU, then this Cagliostro Forge Colab is your friend. In this video, I am going to show you how you can do that so easily with single click and we will also go through what exactly this Cagliostro Forge Colab is. So stay tuned. Before I do that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily and at scale. You can use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. AgentQL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and I will also drop the link to their website in videos description so do check them out. So let's go back to this Caglio Forge Colab. So this is their GitHub repo and I will drop the link to it in video description. From here just scroll down a bit and then click on open Colab. It is going to open the Google Colab for you. So here what you can do is it is a single click is all you need. It is quite lightning fast setup and installation process. It is optimized for STXL models and workflows. Now, if you have been following my channel, you know that I have been covering these stable diffusion models. Mainly, there are three types of stable diffusion models ST1.5, STXL, and Flux Dev. So, this one, Cagliostro, is more focused on the STXL models. And if you want to know more about what exactly these STXL models are and how they are different from ST and other stuff, you can just search my channel with STXL and you should be able to find a recent video around it. So going back to this Cagliostro notebook, so this is a notebook it is going to open as I mentioned earlier. And it is, uh, it comes with pre-configured settings for optimal performance. It is quite easy to use with all the common uh, sense default so that you don't have to worry about it and there are a few other things which i will show you shortly so in order to get started all you need to do is to click on runtime and then change runtime type from here you should make sure that it is already at t4 gpu which is courtesy to google a free gpu stuff once that's done just click on install environment and then just click run anyway it is going to just configure all the stuff for you. you don't have to worry about anything else don't put anything now at the moment you can see that it is supporting four stxl models which is quite popular any imagine which is for enemy ray and kivotos you can also get few others but you would have to uh, download it from civitai or any other related website and then this is where i was referring to if you want your own custom model, you can just give the URL of CVTI here. These two models, the V and LoRa. So what happens is that in these stable diffusion models, due to the stable uh, diffusion process, first the image is created in the latent space. Latent space means the abstract space where you can't see it. Now we can load this V model in order to convert the generated image from latent space to the pixel space and that is why we need a v model v model or v model it stands for variational auto encoder and if you want to know more please search the channel you should be able to find it uh, i have done a various videos on it in a very simple words and then another thing is that <clears throat> and by the way some models come preloaded with this variational auto encoder but in this case, you can see that we are downloading this STXL way here. This LoRa means that, so LoRa stands for low rank adaptation. So what happens is that what people do, they fine tune these models for their specific use case or task. For example, you want to create 
a text to image model which will only generate images as per your own images so that is how you create a lora out of it or lora model out of it and then with the help of a trigger word and that lora adapter we dictate the model to generate an image in specific style as per your own requirement so you can just put in lora here and then you can just leave rest of it as is you can see you can even set um, the reverse proxy here and then you can just use it by tunneling but we are not using that let's keep it that way and if i scroll down you will see that this is where it is uh, downloading all the models and everything and it is giving you all the logs it is still running so let's wait for it to finish and once that's done you can just go here and then uh, generate the image and if you're interested you can even read through the code word uh, code says by clicking on uh, the code stuff and similarly you can also check the code here anyway so let's wait for it to finish and come back and then we will see what it generates it takes a bit of a time by the way and there you go it has generated this uh, gradio url for you so just click on this one it is going to open it in another window let's wait for it to load and there you go there you have your own um, gui just from google colab with single click where you can generate the images so you see it is basically uh, the automatic 1111 11, where you can generate text to images image to image all those extension and stuff so this is where you can uh, give your prompts and then you can generate them so right now it has already said that masterpiece best quality very aesthetic and then some of the negative prompts so positive means this is what will be the part of the image and this will be this uh, not part of the image and then there are some parameters which you can set click on generate and it is generating the image for you and you can see that this is exactly the same automatic 1111 web ui or stable diffusion web ui you can readily use and i have seen that sometimes this takes a bit of a time and once it's generated you can even go back to your google colab and then from there you can download the files from uh, tab also if you want to see uh, how it is progressing or are there any errors you can check out here you see that it is doing some st stuff it is trying to get some memory and these are the steps it is performing at the moment so you can keep track of progress here and uh, just because of the GPU environment because it's a t4 gpu so sometime it takes a bit of a time also depends upon how much load is there if you go back here and you might also see some eta there too so there you go so we already have the image how good is that so you can generate these sort of good quality images just by single click by using stxl model from a google co lab from free so really good stuff by Cagliastro lab as I said, I will drop the link to it in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.